guys, it's Saturday night and I'm into the libations more than just a little bit, uh, but I'm going to try and make an effort to entertain you all tonight. That was a stop sign. So we have a brother and sister combo whose uh, on-screen chemistry is just a little too good. You know, it, it makes me uncomfortable. Yay, day fever! No, day forever! Day forever! That's mine. That's three for little bro. That's a six, not a G, you idiot. That's sexy forever. That's mine. That's five to two. But since they're in the backwoods of Appalachia, they blend right in. Oh, hello. I think somebody's been watching Duel a little too much. What the hell was his problem? My first guest, Inbreed! Now, I think the previous encounter was supposed to be some kind of warning, but if you have watched this movie before, you know that it goes unheeded. Shit. Jesus. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Here we go again! saw this flick, something about it just struck me as amazingly familiar. Growing up, this was my favorite show. And some of you now know where this is going. Basically, the entire opening of the movie is lifted directly from an old episode of Unsolved Mysteries. We were driving southbound on Snow Ferry Road, and all of a sudden a van had just been on us and passed. Jeez, must be in a hurry. Down the road a little way, they happened to notice the guy again. Part next to an old school building, and of course a big old pipe. Like a couple of total morons, they go right back to where they saw the guy acting suspiciously and uncover signs of foul play, while completely contaminating the shit out of a crime scene. Good job, people! And thanks to their little license plate game, they were actually able to remember the van's plate number. Turns out it was some dickhead who murdered his own wife. This is a true story. Call it plagiarism if you want, but... I kind of like the connection.